Let's first talk about the actual promo that we got last week where the main feature of it was saying shaking soon and it had the Stern logo on there. You all should remember it. If not, I'm playing it right now for you to see. But the main point was that it was saying shaking soon. Why would they say shaking soon unless it's something that would be across the entire theme? One of the main key features of this game that looks to be the same across all tiers is the rocket that is in the upper left hand region of the game. Now if you look at the images this game has obviously just been taken out of the box and we have a foam wrapping around it. Now this is the thing guys, when you see wrapping around an object inside of a machine then that means that can wiggle around. It's got wiggle movement during the shipping process. So then that points to the fact that this missile moves, whether it be left and right. Here, let me just grab this right here. Whether it be left and right or up and down, this is probably looking dirty, but we're gonna go with it. But there is a little bit of space around the shaft. This is not gonna go over good. Move the now. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where I talk and do everything pinball. So if that sounds interesting to you, then hit that subscribe button down below. Do you live in Mexico and are you in need of a pinball machine? Then by all means, you should head to pinballmexico.com. And of course, a special thank you to Pinball Mexico for your support of my channel. I deeply appreciate it. So since we last spoke about Bond, they have had their official release. So now we have all the videos, all the high res images that give us everything we need to know. And you know what? We're going to go through every image, every video, scrutinizing everything piece by piece. And I'm going to tell you what I think. And no, I'm not. That sounds horrible <laughs> because we pretty much saw everything on the low res images. All the high res images did was merely confirm what we already saw in the first place. And the videos basically confirmed a few things that I had suspicions of, but they also confirmed things that I had suspicions that were actually wrong. So there is no magnet above the dragon thing. Okay, fair enough. But I was right about the missile, which is why I had the intro the way I did, guys, especially for you out there. But it also put to rest what is going on on the left side of the play field in the uh, scuba diving area. So that was put to rest. But everything else I want to say was pretty much ironclad. We kind of had a good idea of what the game might be doing. And the typical Stern videos, they're really good of showing you what the game does, but it's also in a controlled environment and it's doctored, meaning it's it's basically edited to show you like perfection, none of the flaws. So you're not getting a consistent gameplay, which is what it's designed to do. And I have been fooled before on their videos and making me think that the game is going to be great. And that game was Black Knight Sword of Rage. I remember I was really hyped up when I, especially when I saw that upper play field, I was like, oh yeah, I got to get this game. And then I saw the actual stream and then I saw the upper plate field was kind of crap. So with that being said, the videos that Stern put out did their job. But here's the thing. We knew that there was going to be games, or at least one for sure, overseas being played at a particular event or convention or something. I, I can't think off the top of my head what it was. I don't think it was IAPA because I think IAPA is already over and done with. So it's another event that was going on. So I had a feeling any day we were about to get cell phone footage of the game in action, which I almost didn't want to watch it. I was like, no, I don't want to watch it, but I wanted to watch it because I wanted confirmation on a couple of things. And we also haven't been notified on when the official stream by Deadflip is going to be. I messaged Jack. It's been about, I don't know, 10 hours. Haven't heard back from you, Jack. I feel a little ghosted. So basically right now, I do not have a date for you on when the official stream is going to be. As far as I know, as of right now, they have not even announced when the official stream is going to be. So I must caution you now. I am going to be showing you some of the gameplay footage here 
going forward on the video. If you do not want to see this, then by all means, you feel free to fast forward or you can watch this video at a later date. Because honestly, I recommend you do not watch the gameplay video if you are truly waiting for a better experience of this game. If you want a better initial experience of this game, then by all means, do not watch this. <laughs> it sounds bad. I'm putting out a video for people to watch, but I'm also telling you not to watch it. I'm just saying, if you're one of those people that wants their first experience to be the best it can be on a stream video-wise of a game that you have really high hopes of getting, then you're going to want to hold off on watching the gameplay that I'm about to show. All right, here we go. This is not even the current code, so almost everything you see here is subject to change. You don't get a good listen on the game's audio due to all the other noises around. The lighting isn't really ideal, but we do get a good look at the visuals on the screen. It looks like we get a decent amount of footage from the movies. So even without the updated code, it still looks good. Now, when it comes to gameplay, well, the first few minutes are rough. This person is obviously still learning the game, but once this player starts getting the shots all tuned in, it gets, it gets better. This looks to be a game that will take some time to learn, but damn it, when he makes the shots, they look good. But the reason I recommended you not to watch this footage because it kind of put my thoughts in the damper about the game a little bit. I still believe this game will shoot great once you figure out the shots, obviously, but I feel like I'm not seeing any moments at this time with this video. So I don't feel like we're gonna get the same experience that we had in Godzilla. So when I say that this game is gonna rival Godzilla at this current state and time, I still feel like Godzilla is gonna be on top because I, the code's not done, okay, but I'm not seeing the mechanics and everything that we got with Godzilla to give us that moment. I can still, even though I do not own a Godzilla, Every time I play it and I lock those three balls on top of the tower and then the music starts kicking in for the multi-ball and you see that tower just going up and down and eventually it lowers. That's a moment. All right. And I don't think it ever gets old. I just don't see anything like that in this game that could potentially give me the same experience. Is that a bad thing? No. It just means that I may still prefer the Godzilla game over this game. But, again, this is horrible footage. I won't know for sure until I see it being played on the official stream. That will give me a better idea on whether or not this game is going to be great or okay. I do not think at all that it's going to be a flop. It's not going to be bad. I think it's going to be you know either good or great. That's what I can see right now. I had a whole spiel worked out right here going through all my little bullet points on why I feel like the pro versus the premium, the pro would be the winner to go. But I'm going to save that for a later date. I'm trying to give this game every benefit that it can. So after the official stream is where I can ironclad say that pro is the way to go. But as of right now, I feel like that pro is the way to go. So. There's still room to improve to change my mind. But going through all the options that are on the premium versus the pro, especially with the major price hike of the premium, I'm thinking you're better off going with the pro. And if you don't like the art, then by all means, slot it in the middle of your lineup. And then I'm pretty sure someone's already working on a new translate to replace that Dr. No back, that translate that's back there. There's going to be an alternate. Have your thoughts and feelings changed about the new Bond game as well? I would like to know about it in the comments down below. Give me the thumbs up, subscribe button, ding my dong, that way you can be notified of whenever I upload something for your viewing pleasure. And until next time guys, peace out.